Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Whitney. If you're new here, then a big warm welcome from me. And if you're returning, then thank you so much for coming back. It is a Sunday and hopefully I'm going to film, edit and upload this video all in one day for you. I've realised that basically whenever I start vlogs, I always look like a mess. But, you know, it's nearly Christmas and let's face it, I hardly ever wear makeup anyway and I've just lived in loungewear for the past year basically so <laughs> I will get dressed at some point today yeah sorry I'm rambling again but yeah starting a new video and it is going to be a vlog video I've missed doing vlogs so I thought why not bring another vlog to the channel and yeah it'd be like a, a vlogmas style video I've not really done vlogmas properly this year but this will be a Christmassy vlogmas video. Can't say that it's going to be exciting. I mean, I have made a plan of things that I want to do today or things that we're going to do today and just take you along with us. Sorry if it is boring, I don't know. I plan to do a little bit of a Q&A later on in this video. I've put out some uh, question things on Instagram and Facebook, so we'll see if there's any good questions and yeah, I just thought it'd be lovely to catch up with you guys. I love documenting my life and I was watching back some of my videos the other day and it just makes me so happy to be able to sit and have a look back at those. So yeah, definitely going to continue with doing my vlogs. Absolutely love them. So I guess I'll just briefly do an overview of what we're going to have planned today. We're just going to have some breakfast now, just a quick one, then we're going to head out to go shopping. We are still able to go shopping, all the, I mean, there's been news of like places that are now in tier four and I don't know, I'm just so confused by it all, but we're still in tier three, so we are still able to go shopping. So we're going to go to our local shopping center as there's something that we need to pick up. Going to go and do food shopping, come back, planning on having a roast dinner today because, well, Basically, Idris and I have just eaten takeout for the last two days and feel like we both need a good home-cooked meal. So, definitely planning on having a roast and then, yeah, there's lots of cleaning to do and then maybe we'll watch a film. But I don't know. Hopefully you stay and watch this video. Hopefully it is some kind of fun for you or you enjoy watching it, takes you away from everything else that's going on in the world at the minute even if it is just for let's face it is this video is probably going to be like half an hour long so yeah hopefully you enjoy this video if you do give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel turn on the bell to be notified when i upload more videos and check me out on wit style i'll put it somewhere check me out on wit style check me out on instagram i'll put my username up somewhere here so you can see it it's at wit.style would love if i could see you over there as well i've seen quite a few more people on here and on Instagram and it's been lovely to watch my little YouTube community grow so yeah I shall see you a little bit later on when I'm looking a bit more presentable I guess but yeah let's crack on with this vlogmas video <laughs> We are now both ready and we're in the car on our way. I would have picked up the camera sooner but I was just rushing around, putting the washing on, emptying the bins, all that jazz. But yeah, now we're on our way to Meadow Hall, our shopping centre. And here's it just. Where we going? It's Meadow Hall. Suitcase. Say hi. Hi guys. Welcome back to the video. So attractive. <laughs> yeah, so we're on our way there now and then shall head food shopping as well after. Anything you want to say? Bye. I guess, Merry Christmas. I guess Idris is... Yeah, filthy animals. <laughs> excuse me. I guess Idris is very um, happy to talk to the vlog today. These are not the droids you're looking for. Move along. So we have just finished shopping in Meadow Hall and honestly it was 
were so busy and we didn't get we didn't manage to get what what we want what we went in there to get but we did pick up some extra bits um yeah it was so busy and Idris hates it when it's busy shopping now we've got about an hour to go and do food shopping because it's Sunday so everything shuts at four but yeah not much else to say it's just busy and we're just shopping anything to add it just doesn't have much to say so we're on our way on our way to Aldi now to do our food shop yeah Aldi coming through with the treats So just finished our shopping in Aldi and it is freezing and is it me or has shopping got more expensive since Covid and Christmas definitely more expensive hardly bought anything but still spent quite a bit of money hmm. anyway we did get an exciting purchase I think I did show it briefly but I'll show you when we get home uh, something that we picked up that I'm very excited about oh yeah anyway very cold I shall pick the camera back up when we are back home and yeah, nothing much exciting really going on. Just waiting for Idris now. He's just taking the trolley back. So we've just got back from shopping now and I just wanted to show you the thing that I'm excited about. Ta-da! Quality sweets and it's a proper tin as well. Oh! Love quality streets and how nice does that look underneath our tree? Which is your favourite? Comment down below. Is it quality streets, roses, celebrations? Is there any other ones? Heroes? Mm. Heroes. What's your favourite tin of sweets to have under the tree? So we're just going to put the shopping away I think and then watch a TV show that Idris has been watching on Netflix. What's it called? Godfather of Harlem. Godfather of Harlem. And then we'll clean up the flat. Um, as I said, we are going to have a roast dinner later, but we picked up some like party bits, some vegetable, oh, um, oriental vegetable selection, vegetable spring rolls, and duck spring rolls. Just gonna pop that in now because we haven't had any lunch just take 12 minutes so yeah have that put the shopping away watch Netflix show and then clean probably put you on some time lapses when we're just cleaning up getting everything ready I actually have an extra day of work tomorrow I took a day's holiday so yeah so excited about having a long weekend Idris sadly has still got work tomorrow but you know Only three days though. Yeah, he's only at work for three days and I'm at work for, well I'll be at work for two and a half, Tuesday, Wednesday and half a day on Thursday. Anyway, yeah, gonna have that now and I'll pick the camera up in a little bit. As you probably just saw we have cleaned the flat now well majority of it and dinner is now cooking I'll just show you now vegetables and so now what I think I'm going to do is wrap one last present that I have to wrap and answer some of your questions that you have sent through for me to answer on this blog. So let's go wrap some presents. So I'm just sitting down to wrap my last present. As I said, it is from Hotel Chocolat. And don't worry, um, it's for Idris and he already knows what it is because he was there and I bought it. So it is just these caramel, caramel milk batons from Hotel Chocolat, as I said, and these actually look divine. 
So I've made a list of the of some questions to answer whilst wrapping this. Um, yeah, so I'll just do a mini Q&A and wrap the presents. I have two bits of wrapping paper. I think I'm going to use this red one now. Um, so the first question I have is uh, what camera do I use to film? Now I actually just generally film on my phone, believe it or not. I am looking to invest in a proper vlogging filming camera. I have been looking to get a proper filming camera for a while, but just knowing what's the right thing to get. And you know, whilst whilst this is just a hobby, I guess, um, yeah, I'm just using my phone at the minute and if you want to know what I edit on, I edit on iMovie on my um, MacBook. Um, yeah, I would like to get better at editing, so actually I might invest in a editing software as well, like Final Cut Pro, I've heard of that one, or um, something different. But for the moment I just film on my phone and use my MacBook to edit my videos. So another question that I had was um, how have I been holding up during the pandemic and they said hope I'm well so thank you very much and um, I hope you are well too. And to answer the question how have I been holding up? Um, generally I've been okay. I got put on furlough from work. Um, I was on furlough for three months I think so, sorry, just got distracted. It just is just something. Um, yeah, I was on furlough, and that allowed me to spend some time working on myself, working on YouTube, and um, doing more things that I enjoy. I did have a lot of time on my own though, because Idris was still at work. Yeah, it's been, I guess, a bit up and down. I am back at work now, and uh, work is quite busy actually. But yeah, I think probably like most people, I've been. I've had my good days and bad days, bad days or, sorry, harder days. Um, I, I think what I just try to remember is that everybody's kind of going through a similar thing and what you see online is not the truth always and just not to put too much pressure on myself. Like the beginning of this year was hard anyway after losing my nanny and yeah, to then not be able to see my family has been really difficult. Um, but I guess it, it is what it is. And yeah, to sum it up, I guess I've tried my best to say, or tried my best to look on the positive side of things during this whole pandemic. And like most people, I've had good days and bad days. So yeah, I am feeling all right at the moment obviously um tier four has just been announced for places down south and well just the whole of christmas just seems who knows what's happening it just yeah but yeah i hope you're all doing well and if you've had good days and bad days then just know that you're not alone because yeah i think most of us are in the same boat if i'm honest here's the present I'm just going to add some ribbon on it and then I'll be finished that. The other question I had was what goals have I achieved during lockdown? Honestly when I got put on furlough then I had a whole list of things to achieve like taking care of myself better, getting in a routine, having better sleep, eating better, uh, exercising more being more present on my YouTube and my Instagram and honestly I probably didn't achieve that much of my goals if I'm honest. One thing I did achieve though was to upload more on YouTube. I feel like I've definitely managed to do that a lot more and yeah I feel very happy that I've recorded and filmed a lot more videos because I absolutely love doing this and you know I would love for it to one day become something more than a hobby and if if that does happen that would be amazing and yeah I just feel like lockdown 
enabled me to focus a little bit more on on um, filming and yeah so I definitely say that that goal of being more present and like posting more consistently on YouTube and Instagram has that's something that I have achieved but besides that I'd, I don't really know if I had any other goals that I have achieved but like I said earlier I'm not not unhappy about that because I just I just haven't really put much pressure on myself if I'm honest I'm you know now I am back at work it's busy I don't know sometimes I feel a bit like I don't do enough I think that social media can actually make you feel like that when you see people that like they get home from work and then they do another two three four five hours at home working on a project or doing some other work outside of their normal day job so sometimes that that does come through my head but you know I try not to compare myself too much to other people because well really I just need to compare myself to, more, to me and that's it almost finished the present now and the final question that I'm going to answer in this little Q&A bit is what are my new year's resolutions and honestly I do not know I haven't really given it much thought I think there's a lot of emphasis on on having new year's resolutions and the new year is such a big thing and you should it's the time to make change and all this and that and I don't know I've just not really given it much thought I think maybe I'll speak about it more in another video if I just take some time to think about it properly. I don't know, one thing that I would say would be a New Year's resolution is just to not wait around and if you, if I want something just to go out and get it or go out and do it, it you know, things aren't going to come to me, I just, why waste time? Yeah, I think that's the only New Year's resolution that I can think of at the minute. Oh, and obviously to spend more time with family if that's possible. And I've just realised that one goal that I did actually, another goal that I did actually achieve in lockdown was that I booked my wedding date with Idris. We booked our wedding date. So yeah, we've been engaged for quite a few years now, four, I think it'd be four this month. And yeah, we finally booked our wedding venue and our wedding date. So that's definitely a good thing. Sorry, that's definitely something that I've achieved during, do during lockdown. Anyway, I think I've rambled on um, a lot just answering those questions. If you do have any more questions, just feel free to um, comment down below and I'll get back to you on them. And if you would like to see any more Q&A bits in videos, then just let me know. Here is the present that I wrapped for Idris. This kind of didn't work out, but I'm just going to sit and write a gift tag now and then it shall be dinner time, I think. Yeah, it's actually quite late. It's 20 past seven. Um, Idris is just finishing off dinner now. So I'm just going to finish this and then I'll show you our Sunday roast. This is not just any food. This is wheat style food. <laughs> <laughs> dinner is served and I'm having a lemon Sicilian gin. And so as you probably just saw, we've just finished eating dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and so if you've just seen, we've just finished eating dinner and we're now going to sit down and watch his dark materials on BBC iPlayer. <laughs> Idris is making fun of me. Anyway, I've got, <laughs> I've got my... Take 34. And I've got my dressing gown on, getting all cosy and comfy. And we're probably not going to be up to much later on this evening, so I'm probably going to end today's vlog, vlogmas bit here. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I, I don't know if it's if it's been a good video or not. There's obviously not that much to do at the moment, so yeah. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to be notified when I upload more videos and check me out on Instagram. My username is at wit.style and I would love to see you over there. 
and yeah don't forget to comment down below what you would like to see more from me or if you have any questions or anything like that and i'm not sure if this will be the last time i'll see you before christmas but if it is then happy christmas and i hope happy that christmas it's merry christmas happy new year okay merry christmas and i hope that you have as a, as an enjoyable day as possible and yeah hope you you know, fill it with love, laughter and lots of lovely memories. And food. And food, yes. Especially pigs in blankets. Love yeah. pigs in blankets. But yes, hope you have a lovely Christmas if I don't see you beforehand. And here's your dress. You want me to put that in? No. Go on, do it again. Three, two, one. Merry Happy Christmas, Christmas and a Merry New Year. <laughs> okay, bye. 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 Can you? <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.